Hello everybody, this is Troy and we are back with the Twisty Puzzle uh, tutorial. We're very close here. I think we're going to finish in this one the, the main uh, 3x3 mechanism and uh, let's get going. So at this point uh, everything is still uh, movable. Uh, if I move this core around inside here you can see this. I can I can scale these parts um, and this is the time where you really want to you know get that design finalized because we're gonna we're gonna um, freeze everything here. Uh, the outer one, if you remember, we did two of them, so we have this small gap. Just make sure as you're as you're scaling these, uh, you may need to res resize the outer one to be the 0.2 millimeters uh, greater in the end. Uh, so go ahead at this point and uh, get your puzzle dimensions proper because we're gonna we're gonna freeze all this. <clears throat> so uh, I'm happy with where everything is at here. Um, what I would normally do also at this point is I would go and continue to detail a little bit more uh, these edges. I'm going to, I would uh, round them off just a little bit more. Uh, we're not going to do that in this tutorial. That uh, step can actually take quite a while. Uh, and if you're 3D printing, a lot of the things you're doing after the print uh, sanding, you can actually just add those bevels in when you sand. Uh, they're, they're quite small at this point. They're only about a millimeter. So uh, it's, it's very easy to do there. So, uh, looking at my pieces, uh, my corner piece is actually ready to go. I see there's no uh, gap here, and uh, I can actually just take these two pieces and I can uh, I can union them together, and uh, I now have a fixed piece, and I don't have any boolean left on here. So that piece is now uh, completely done, and I'm just going to hide that piece. Uh, for my center here, I'm going to actually um, attach these two together, and again, we're going to um, union those, and that is ready. Now, you will notice we don't have our holes here yet. That is going to be one more thing we need to do. Now, this piece, we actually, from our last uh, from our last video, we did put a gap in here, and we do have uh, there is a, a small gap. These two pieces are not touching, so what I need to do here is I'm going to add a uh, extra object. This is there's many different ways we can do this, but um, this is just something I can do very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I, I created a a new cube, and I'm just going to go to the side view, and I just want to put it right up here where it's going to um, be inside of this shape, and I, I'm just moving it close to where I know it needs to be. Um, about right there and I see these measurements uh, look to be 17 so I'll go 17 uh, 0 and minus 17 and now I can see uh, that that's where I want that to be now it's a little wide still so now I can scale my y dimension and I'm just I'm just purely going by eye here I, these are very small measurements and uh, just for the sake of completion here so this edge is sticking out, so I'm going to grab this edge here and I'm going to just bevel it. It doesn't really matter how much because this is just internal pieces. <clears throat> so what I've created here now is just this little tiny piece. You can see this sliver of gray, and it's, and it's just inside uh, these two pieces. So now I can just select uh, the internal pieces selected and this one, and I'll hit Union. And then I'll select this piece and this piece again, and I'll hit Union again. And at this point, we now have that piece complete. And uh, that one's all ready to go. And I'm going to hide that one away. And now for our center. Uh, and by the way, since we have used up all of our uh, center cores here, it's good to have these saved in another file somewhere. But uh, for right now, I do not need these anymore. So I'm going to delete them. Uh, and I still have all my other objects here bring them back um, I do want to cut off a cap here and then we need to cut out a hole for our screw now I've gone ahead and I've made a screw here now we don't need to model the screw in this but I've done it for the for the sake of this tutorial uh, what is important though is that you know the measurements of your screw so what I've done is I've as I've gone ahead and I've measured out uh, so I can I can properly figure the overhangs and also the length of the screw, the si uh, length of the spring and the size of the spring. 
So knowing that information, I've gone ahead and already built a piece that I'm going to cut out. And I just want to show, uh, they're basically just cylinders. You Boolean them together like, like everything else we've done here. Um, and I'll go to the side view and I'll show you what I've done here. Um, I know the size of the, of the head of my screw, so I need to make a ledge that is uh, a size that the, the screw cap will not go through, but will allow the spring to go through. So I've basically got this size here. Then this dimension right here is actually for the spring. Now my spring here is a measurement of eight millimeters, but I know that when it compresses, it compresses down to four. So I've calculated uh, what will take for that screw or for that spring to compress down in there to give myself that room. So this length is roughly the length of the compressed spring. And then I've just extended the bottom uh, of that down and then I've extended the top of it up so it goes completely through our piece. So with that being said, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my center piece and we're going to rotate this uh, up here to match that up. And I don't want to cut this out right now because I do want to create a center cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, Shift A, we're going to create a cube. And I'm just going to scale this up right now. And I'm going to do a difference. And we now have our cap. That's fine. And I'm going to take my cap now. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to change that to uh, intersection. So now I actually have the two different objects uh, from that. And I'm just going to take this object and hide it. And we're going to take our screw uh, hole object where we had done all the measurements from the screw. And we're going to select our center area here. And we are just going to do a difference. And that has now created that internal mechanism uh, for that. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here. And I would suggest you play around at this point. Uh, this is a very, very minimum uh, cap setup right now. And so what I'm going to do now, these are, these are set. I'm just going to apply this, and I'm going to apply these two. So now I can actually delete. I can just get rid of my, uh, my screw and my whole information here. Uh, so I would create some other shapes here uh, to be able to uh, have these caps snap together. Uh, and do that sort of thing or right now you could you can print these out the way they are you could glue them together um, that's not a optimal solution what I do on my personal rig is I do this one this is what my caps end up looking like I've cut out a few more complex shapes and I make them so that they will not fall off they actually slide in from the side uh, but the center uh, details here are basically what I just showed you uh, this information or this um, fit is going to be something you'll have to try with your own printer uh, a little bit of trial and error to get the the right fit and uh, I would I would say uh, try to come up with your own design there uh, so there we have it this is our this is our finished puzzle we, we now have every piece we need we have we have our centers we have our edges we have our corners so let's take our uh, I no longer need this cube because I had frozen that so I'm going to delete that I'm going to actually delete this as well and um, I have my spring here I'm going to just um, let's get rid of those as well so my edge uh, every, I'm going to at this point I'm just going to select every piece and I'm going to hit apply and let's just apply everything to it. So we're going to apply a location, we're going to apply a rotation, we're going to apply scale. Now all the centers will be here in the center of my world. All the rotations are at zero, all the scales are at one. So it'd be very easy right now for me to uh, duplicate some objects, rotate in Z 90 degrees, or minus 90. Now I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to rotate Z 180 and there's my top face 
and we're going to select all these pieces and I want to make sure I have them all, which I do. I'm going to duplicate them, rotate on my x-axis 180 and let's see we need two of those, two of those. Let's go um, rotate y 90 and finally we need uh, our center pieces here actually let's um, hide these so I can see my center rotate X and we'll go 90 rotate Z let's go 90 duplicate rotate Z 90 and duplicate rotate Z 90 <clears throat> so there we have it we have our entire cube we have our full mechanism including our internal for the centerpiece and that is our 3d puzzle in the next video I'm going to Go the next step and we're going to look at how now that we have a working 3d puzzle we can uh, cut this shape uh, further to have uh, shape nod puzzles <laughs>